Today, I would like to teach you how to use synthetic division to solve the following problem of 6x cubed minus 10x squared minus 7x minus 15, which is being divided then by x plus 1. So the first step is, in order to use synthetic division, I like to set up a little synthetic division table. Okay? Inside this black part, all right, on the top row, I'm going to place in my coefficients of the dividend. All right, the dividend is always the term here that comes to the right. Uh, wait, what? Wait, what? Left. Hold on. going to hold my hands up. Left. Right. Left. Left-hand side of that division symbol. Okay? It's the uh, term that you're having something being divided into. Okay? That's called the dividend. This one is called the divisor. And when you find then the answer, it is the quotient. Wow. Exciting. Anyway, plug in the coefficients here into the row on the top. All right? Positive 6. You got a negative 10. Where's the zero? There it is. Negative seven, and then a negative 15. Easy enough. Now, what are you going to do uh, to plug in in this uh, space over here? Well, what we want to do is we want to find the value of x for this binomial that makes the function become zero. In other words, find the zero right, of that function. In other words, take that x plus one, set it equal to zero, and solve it for x. So it's just going to be x is equal to a minus 1. Now this 0 value, I know it's a negative 1, right? Isn't Math is just confusing sometimes with the terminology. Dividend, divisor, quotient, case in point. What we're going to do is we're going to take this number now, and we're going to plug it in here, okay? Now, we have the top row set up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to follow a series of steps, aka sometimes that's called an algorithm. If you want to sound really smart, say, I'm going to follow the following algorithm. Um, in order to then find the coefficients and possibly the remainder uh, of our quotient. All right, so here, first thing, take the first term, whatever it is, and just drop it straight down. That's why I have a uh, red box here. You're just going to take it, drop it straight down. It's going to be a 6, okay? Then what you're going to do is you're going to take this bottom term, multiply it by this term all the way on the left, and your answer is going to go into this next box right here. Okay, so negative 1 times a 6 is going to be a negative 6. Cool. Then what you're going to do is you're going to add these terms together. And that's going to be a negative 16. Fantastic. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take, you're going to repeat the same step. Take this term, multiply it by this term, and plug in your answer over here. Negative times negative is a positive, so it's a positive 16. You're going to add these terms together, right? So a positive 16 and a negative 7, what are you going to get? Sounds like a 9 to me, right? Positive 9. Then what are you going to do? You're going to take this answer, multiply it by this value, and you're going to place your answer right here, next cell. And then you're going to add those terms together, so they're like terms, so you're basically going to take the 9 and add it to the 15, keep the negative sign, right? So it's going to be a negative 24. And that's it, basically. All right. We now have found our coefficients, all right, of our um, quotient and the remainder. Now, one quick note. If this term out here, meaning if the coefficient of your x term in your divisor uh, is something other than a 1, then there is going to be an additional step you have to do. Now, technically, we can do the step now. Basically, what you do is you take this value, 1, and you divide it into each of your coefficients, not the remainder. Okay? The remainder, by the way, is always the last term here in your table. All right? Now... Obviously, dividing everything by 1 doesn't really do anything. Right? So that's kind of why the step is skipped, or, in other words, never mentioned. But I need to mention that to you because, I don't know, you might see on your test, all of a sudden you might get a 2, and you're like, wait, what? What Does that change anything? No, it wouldn't change anything in terms of now the entire process. All you would do at the end is just divide each of these by 2, and then you would have your new coefficients. All right? So just keep that in mind. Now... Remember what all of these terms represent. This is your remainder, okay? And this is the first coefficient of your constant term. This is the coefficient then of your x term. This is your coefficient of your x squared term. And dot, 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 dot. It could be x cubed if you had more, you know, columns to the table, etc. All right? It'll always follow this pattern, by the way, ladies and gentlemen. So what we're now going to do is to find the quotient fully. We're just going to basically team these values on up. Okay, and just write them in, a, uh, in an equation. 
So the first term is going to be that 6x squared. The second term is going to be a minus 16x. The next term is going to be a 9. Positive 9, that is. And the last term, okay, whatever this is, you're going to take that value, it's a negative, and place the remainder, 24, and divide it by your divid, oh my goodness, divisor. Who came up with these words, right? I tell you. I want to give him a big giant hug, or her, whoever came up with it, doesn't really matter. Him or her, big giant hug. So here, uh, we're going to uh, plug in that divisor, so x plus 1. And that's it. Okay, this is the quotient now, ladies and gentlemen. And that's the answer to the problem now. This is the resulting polynomial. Uh, after you divide this dividend by that divisor, you get to this quotient. Big giant hug. Big giant hug. Now, you can also check your answer if you wanted. All right. Think about what you did. You took this term, you divided it by this term, and that resulted in this term. Now, to save a little space, what you would do, so I'm just going to kind of mention what you would do. You would take any x value you wanted, and you want to see if this divided by this equals this. So just take an x value of 0, okay? And you would plug it in everywhere you see x, okay? Everywhere you see x. You plug it in as a 0, okay? Now, to, that saves a little time because that's going to cancel that term. This term would go bye-bye. That term would go bye-bye, right? That term would go bye-bye. 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 And that also term in there is bye-bye. So what do we have left? So the only thing left in this term now is going to be a negative 15. Negative 15. And that's then being divided now by positive 1. Easy enough. Remember, that's going to be equal to this quotient. Now, the only thing left in the quotient is going to be the positive 9. And you're subtracting now 24 over 1, which is just 24. So the question is now, does negative 15 equal whatever this works out to be? And what does that work out to be when you take a positive 9 and subtract 24 from it? You get a negative 15. And is negative 15 equal to negative 15? Well, no, it is not, right? Unfortunately, it is not equal. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I wonder how many people are going to stop the video there, comment, wrong. Sorry, wrong. Wait, where's that? Wait a minute. Isn't that? Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. Is that? Wait, is that from? Yeah. Yeah, what movie is that from? Do you know? Wrong. What a great movie, by the way. If you know what movie I'm talking about, leave a comment below. I kind of want to tell you. I kind of don't. Eh, I'll comment. Whoever comments the first one right, I'll comment back saying correct. Anyway, this is right. It all works out. This is the quotient without those canceled uh, yellow X's through it. So thank you guys very much for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. I do hope this helps, and if it does, like, subscribe, maybe even tell some of your classmates. We love helping more people, and we are so very fortunate to be helping you. So thank you for watching. We do appreciate you. We love you. Keep working hard. Take care.